your certifications? Really, where to start? Which certification to choose? Shall I first go with the AZ900 or maybe Azure Administrator 104? Which skills do I need to have in order to pass these exams? So in this video, we'll be diving into the world of Azure certifications and we'll try to demystify which certification you should take in order to achieve your cloud goals. Let's go. Hi, my name is Simon. In this channel, we talk about the cloud, networking, DevOps. So if you like this type of topics, consider subscribing. A good starting point where we talk about the Azure certification is Microsoft Azure training and certification document released by Microsoft where we have all the comprehensive overview of the certifications and of course the link is in the description. So the most important slide is that one. This one really provides us a comprehensive overview of the Azure certifications and we can see that the certs are basically divided in the three different groups and here very important thing the grouping is done not based on the difficulty but based on the domain of Azure. Hence we have a hybrid infrastructure domain data analytics and best in class apps. Depending on what's your scope in Azure or the engineering domain that you are working in, you should consider the certifications that are in your specific area. So apart dividing the certs into the different domains, certs are also divided based on the levels. So we have, of course, fundamentals, associate, expert and speciality. Fundamentals are the only exams that, that cost us $99 while the rest, so associate expert and, and speciality, are priced at $165 to take the exam. When we look at fundamentals level, we have an AZ900 fundamentals exam, we have a DP900 which is database data engineering exam and AI900 which is mostly relevant for the people that have AI machine learning type of profiles. This these are basic certifications, so you don't need really a lot of prerequisite, you don't need to have a lot of experience in order to pass these exams. So if you are just a fresh grad or you have a little experience with IT, one month, two months should be really enough if you want to pass these exams. And we also have associate certs, so these are two stars exams. And here I would recommend to spend more time studying because and gaining some of uh, hands-on practical experience with Azure. And then at the end we have an expert level and to achieve expert level we already need to have a prerequisite level exams that I will talk a little bit later. Now let's look in the best starting point which is AZ900 fundamentals. As a first role in your Azure certification journey AZ900 really lays down the groundwork for every position or every role in Azure ecosystem. Whether you are developer, administrator, networking or security engineer, understanding the fundamentals of Azure is really essential and this is what this specific cert will provide you. It is the first certification for all the roles. Really, the exam covers topics such as, for example, introduction to the cloud computing, Azure services, security, privacy, compliance, trust, as well as pricing and support. It is designed for the individuals that have very little experience with or no experience with Azure. So it makes a perfect um, starting point for every beginners. I also started my journey with AZ900. So if you're interested in listening more in details about the exam and about the experience, you can check out my video here. The mentals level like the AZ900 doesn't require extensive experience or a lot of technical background. With just one month of really dedication and study, you can pass, I think, exam quite, quite easily. In addition to AZ900, there are also two other fundamental level or beginner level exams. So for those interested in exciting world of uh, artificial intelligence, intelligence and machine learning, A we have AI 900. So this serves as an entry point for any individuals that are looking for a way to explore machine learning and artificial intelligence capabilities of the Azure platform. Whether you are a data scientist, AI developer or business decision maker really interested about the capabilities of Azure in context of AI, this certification will serve you as an excellent point in your cloud journey. Then the last fundamentals or one star exam is the DP900 and that really serves as a beginner foundational level for the individuals that are looking to dive into the world of data 
on Azure platform. So whether you are a database administrator, data engineer, or aspiring data scientist, really DP900 provides a solid introduction to Azure data services and solution. It really covers essential concepts such as, for example, core, core data concepts, uh, relational data services, non-relational data services, analytics workloads, uh, modern data warehouses concept. So DP900 will really equip you with the fundamental knowledge that you need to have in order to work with Azure as a beginner. Let's talk the, about the associate two stars ex exams that will require a bit more preparation or and a bit of experience from your side. So this portfolio is really very comprehensive. Among all of the three levels, Microsoft has the highest amount of the associate level exams. So we have Azure Administrator exam, Azure Security Engineer Associate, Network Engineer Associate. We have Windows Server Hybrid Administrator, Azure Developer Associate, Database administrator, data engineer, enterprise data analyst, AI engineer, and data scientist. So we can see that there are quite many Azure associate level exams. Maybe we'll not dive into the, each of them, but we'll look at the most important ones and the ones that will also need, you will need in order to get to the expert level certifications such as DevOps or architect. This is also what I have noticed in the Azure training journey from the Microsoft document. The most natural step once you already pass your AZ-900 is AZ-104 Azure Administrator Associate exam. So let's talk about this specific exam for one second. So this certification will prepare for you for the role of an Azure administrator. This type of profiles in company usually manage storage, compute resources, identity, governments, and uh, for example, virtual networks in cloud. This role also entails provisioning and monitoring of the different services. So the candidates really need to be experienced with the three different ways or four different ways to provision resources in Azure, such as Azure Portal, Azure CLI, PowerShell, and ARM templates. So the domains of uh, AZ-104 are manage Azure identity and governments, uh, implement Azure storage, deploy and manage Azure compute resources, implement and manage virtual networks, and monitor and maintain Azure resources. So these topics are also the extensions of the basics that you already gain with AZ-900. Moving beyond the uh, fundamental certifications, let's del delve into the very intriguing associate level certification that is Azure Security Engineer Associate AZ-500. While 104 mostly focuses on Azure administration, 500 is really tailored for the people that are keen in, in, and interested in cybersecurity. It's really worth to notice that this one is associate level exam, right? So it is also considered one of the most difficult and challenging within that category. To excel AZ-500, uh, really pr practical experience in administration of Azure hybrid environment is, is, is essential. You will need a really a solid understanding of Azure security services and really best practices as well as a hands-on experience with the platform. From identity and access management to data protection and network security, really AZ-500 covers a wide array of different topics re relevant to modern uh, cybersecurity landscape. By mastering the concepts and techniques covered in AZ-500, you'll be very well equipped to tackle the complex challenges of securing the Azure environment. Moving on to the another associate level exam, which is Azure, Azure Networking uh, Certification, AZ-700. So I have already created the episode on my YouTube channel about this specific set and my exam experience. So if you are interested, you can check out my video here. But what the set is really about is the networking so so solutions that are present in Azure. While it is not as widely discussed as other certification is very crucial for you if you want to continue your career in uh, Azure as networking really plays such a vital part in the uh, whole ecosystem. Uh, so this exam really covers a range of topics including Azure networking services, virtual network connectivity, networking security, hybrid connectivity and network monitoring and optimization. To excel in this certification you will need a solid understanding of networking concepts and hands-off experience with Azure networking solutions. So now before 
we go to the expert set level, I want to briefly mention one very important um, associate level certification, which is Azure Developer Associate. And that one can be a prerequisite for expert level DevOps exam. You will dive deep into the Azure development tools, technologies and services, mastering concepts such as, for example, Azure App Services, Azure Functions, um, Storage or Azure Logic Apps. You will learn how to leverage um, Azure robust sets of uh, development tools create scale to create scalable, reliable and secure cloud applications that really meet the needs of uh, modern businesses. The exam covers really a broad range of different uh, topics such as for example Azure SDK, Azure CLI, Azure DevOps, Azure AP management. So you will need really to demonstrate your proficiency in developing cloud applications using various uh, programming uh, frameworks such as for example C Sharp, uh, Python, Node.js or Java. Let's look at the expert level cert certifications. Let's start with Azure DevOps Engineer Expert. So this certification is designed for professionals who really want to specialize in the DevOps practices and leveraging Azure DevOps uh, services to streamline the software development lifecycle. As an Azure DevOps engineer, you will play a pivotal role in orchestration, the continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment CICD pipelines. You will leverage Azure DevOps services such as, for example, Azure pipelines, repos, artifacts, or Azure Azure bot to automate, build, test and release software versions and to really ensure the rapid delivery of a high quality code. This exam really uh, covers a wide range of a different DevOps related topics such as for example CICD pipelines, uh, ma managing uh, source codes, configuring build agent, implementing security and compliance and also optimizing the DevOps processes. You really need to demonstrate your proficiency in using specific tools and services to deliver value to the development teams and uh, organizations. So one very important thing here is that there are one of two prerequisites that you need to fulfill in order to approach to take this exam. So certification option number one is the Azure Administrator exam or certification option number two, Azure Developer Associate. So in order to approach the DevOps exam, you would need to first get one of the associate level exams in order to pass your DevOps exam. Let's now look at the second expert level certification which is Azure Solution Architect Expert. And just like in the previous expert level certification, we also need to have a prerequisite, which is the Azure Administrator Associate exam in order to take this specific certification. So this examination is really advanced level set. And to approach this one, I would really recommend to get some really good, solid hands-on practice experience of building the projects, of working with it in your um, enterprise environment, before approaching this specific certification. The topics really cover governments, compute, application architecture, storage, data integration, authentication, network, business continu continuity and migration. So we see how many different deep dive uh, topics we need to uh, master in order to pass the exam. What I really like about this document that I'm showing here is the fact that we have a different journeys in your IT career together associated with a different certification that are recommended by Microsoft. So that, for example, we have an Azure administrator and then we can see that we can grow from that certification into the DevOps or Azure solution architect. So I would say that there are different paths that we can take in Azure, having all the certifications on the table. A good starting point, once again, is AZ900 that will help us to build our basics, fundamentals, then, and that we can later on use to build our, to, that we can later on build on top of. So for example, we can start with the AZ900 and then we can grow into the AZ500, which is Azure uh, security, um, associate level exam that I already talked in this video. Or for example, a different way, we can start also with the AZ900 and then we can go to 
Azure networking solution. Also another good strategy when it comes for tackling the uh, different certification is to start with the AZ900, then pass AZ104, which is administrator exam. And then finally having that prerequisite, we can approach Azure solution architect. So we can see that there are many, many different options of taking the exams and many different combinations that we can take. I really um, encourage you to explore yourself. What is your profile? What do you want to do? Where do you aim in your career? And once you already answer all these questions, you will know exactly which role, which certification path to choose from Microsoft. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. Bye.